In this series, we use clips from the ABC archive to explore the past and the present with our guests. Now, if you type in John Howard into the ABC database, it returns a staggering 29,000 266 matches. Now, that's more votes than I got in some elections. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to choose a few key moments. Sure. Starting with the oldest one, right. of you. 1966, mm. when you were working for the re-election of New South Wales MP, Tom Hughes. Gosh. I remember that. It's true. That was in Campsy. That's Tom in the background. The vital issues which affect the future security of this country. <laughs> now, before 24-hour media, political campaigning, as we just saw, it was sort of street by street. Mm. Did you enjoy the rough and tumble of it? Oh, yeah, look, I enjoyed it. I mean, when I, I reflect on it, it must have bored people to tears. And, <laughs> and they're, they're trying to do their shopping and people were blaring at them on the back of trucks, but... Uh, the most surreal experience I ever had doing that was the morning that I learned that John Kennedy had been assassinated. That was a week before the 1963 election and I was out campaigning and in Australia it was the 23rd of November 1963 and my brother Bob rang me in just about half past eight in the morning he just said, Kennedy's been shot dead in Dallas and, and like everybody else I was shocked and went out campaigning and it was just so uh, unreal, surreal, mm. as, as now said. You've genuinely always enjoyed getting out amongst the oh, Australian yeah. public. Do you think that it's a, a better way to test the temperature of the electorate as opposed to polling? I think you need both. Mm -hmm. um, I always tried to marry um, the polling evidence with the anecdotal evidence. And how often do they match? Uh, fairly well, and, and it's amazing how accurate... I remember in the election I lost in 2007. Mm -hmm. I started the last week I was in Perth, and the mood in Perth was terrific. And then I flew back to Sydney and I thought, gee, it's turning around. Then I went to the central coast of New South Wales, which is a very mixed area politically. Yeah. Uh, the Erin Affair, and, uh, nah, no you go. Knew. You and, knew. Yeah, yeah. I, I, people was sort of, they averted their eyes, morning was to help, blah, blah, blah. Right. <laughs> you could tell it. And, and, and that was a faithful reflection because in Western Australia in 2007, there was a swing in our direction, yet the rest of the country went heavily in favour of the Labor Party. Mm.